As a trend forecaster, James Wallman has predicted a change in consumer spying behavior. That is, from being a materialistic shopper to an experientialist shopper. In his fascinating, thought-provocative, and convincing book titled Stuffication, he draws examples from real-life stories, research analyses, statistics, as well as history, and explains how people from the developed countries are starting to feel suffocated. Suffocation is an unhappy feeling, as if you are drowning in your cluttered home, suffocated by all the stuff you have accumulated over time. After industrial revolution had created the problem of overproduction, mass consumption was encouraged. The economy improved significantly when baby boomers fell into the trend of conspicuous consumption and extravagant spending. However, as woman observes, their level of happiness didn't seem to have improved. Instead, they are feeling stressful and are burdened with the stuff they bought and the debt that comes with it. Studies show that materialism also leads to negative psychological states such as dissatisfaction with life, social anxiety, deficit disorder, conduct disorder, and narcissism. Ultimately, Wallman's book is trying to prove a better way to pursue happiness, a prolonged happiness that is, by switching from being a materialist to experientialist. Experientialists seek happiness and pleasure by doing activities that create memories. Spending money and buying things make us feel good, no doubt about it. But according to research, the good feeling can only last for about six to eight weeks. After this period of time, our excitement over the new item we have bought fades away as we become accustomed to it. However, experience, especially the good ones, can lead to long-term satisfaction. And people tend not to get bored of happy memories like we do with a material object. This suggests that we should allocate most of our time and money on activities that create, create positive experience, such as going on a trip, having an afternoon tea time with friends, watching Cirque du Soleil perform, etc. Drawing from my own personal experience, I strongly agree with Wallman on how experiences are able to make me happier than possessions. I went to South Korea for an internship during my undergraduate years, and before leaving the country, I bought many souvenirs such as keychains and traditional Korean dolls. Now all these things are sitting in a drawer that I haven't opened for two years. Nevertheless, I constantly refer to the experience in Korea when chatting with my friends. And even until now, thinking of these memories warms me out from the inside. Walnut foresees that consumers are keeping up with the Joneses through experiences rather than objects. We will make less material purchases with the intention of acquiring a material possession and make more experiential purchases with the intention of acquiring a life experience. What does this mean for the marketers of consumer goods industries? It means that they must now acknowledge the sign and focus more on creating products that maximize customer value as well as delivering a superior customer experience. Apple is one of the companies that will continue to thrive in the new experience economy. Their digital devices have high quality and durability, and their sales, sales associates teach new users how to set up their devices right in the store. These aspects attract consumers and trigger a purchase even when the products are premium priced. We as consumers are realizing that to show our status, to live a life that is meaningful, and to be happy in the 21st century, we all need and want to gain positive experiences more than ever. We will only begin to buy stuff and experience that make us happy rather than burdensome. Thank you for watching.